Hello. Thanks for stopping by. It's nice to see you. Uh, today I'll be looking at a very old oil painting kit that I had for probably a few years now. I started oil painting maybe three or four years ago and this was what I started with. This case was actually a gift to me by my grandfather at the time. He got it from a flea market or something. It was really cool that he he got me this. I also it also came with an easel. Uh, it's a very rickety and old easel. It's an antique, I think. So I decided not to use it anymore because I'm so scared it'll just disintegrate if I use it again. I, I I've always wondered who Cam is, or if this could have been the name of the previous owner, or if it's just like just a generic thing to put on this, because this is like fall leather I think but still I haven't really seen any cases like this so yeah I've had this for a long time and I had the sudden urge lately to just come back to painting I really miss it honestly and the thought of this came into mind and all the brushes that I just I killed essentially so this is my art kit um it's a lot. <laughs> this is the palette that I- it's an ice cream tin. This is the palette that I usually use. I don't know how to feel about it because, uh, well, you know, it does it does a job. But cleaning it, it's not something I can actually do, so. Uh, these are watercolors from what I remember. And the watercolors that I use come in tubes. I think I gave them to my mom because she's more on water-based mediums. I prefer to use oil paints because it's what I first learned. Now this is the mess <laughs> that I have in this case. These are soaked with paint thinner so I'm going to put these aside. The smell is insane just just to let you guys know. It really... I'm glad I'm in a... I'm currently in my uncle's house and they have this room where it's full of windows so I'm glad I'm here because if I did this at my home Oh man, it would fill up the whole space. I'm scared of these actually the more I think about it because since they're soaked in paint in it, if they catch fire, I don't even want to think about that. I have this. It's gesso, but it's for acrylic, but I think it works pretty well with oils from what I remember. I haven't used a whole lot of it actually. It's still pretty new. And most of the canvases that I use are already primed, so I haven't had much of an opportunity to use it. Oh god. Jesus. Ah! Ew. No, stop. This thing came with the uh, the case. It wasn't this mangled. I promise you it wasn't this beaten up. This is after me. <laughs> it came in a very big white tube and it looked pretty old. I wish I didn't throw out the case because it, it was quite nice. It came in there. It says a whole bane. Extra fine artist's oil color. I feel really bad coming back to this now because look at what I did to it. I beat the shit out of it, man, and I'm really guilty about it. I wish I treated my supplies better because I was pretty young and I didn't really give much care or thought to these. This is what I have to deal with now. Look at that. What the fuck is that? I think... What? Look at this. The paints piss or something? <laughs> They're everywhere. I think these are like the oils that seeped out from the tubes. They are so sticky. Oh, this is nasty. But I'll be sorting out my brushes. I have jars with me right now, so I'll be categorizing them. And I also bought this oil soap because when I looked around for how to clean brushes, they, they keep saying solvents. I don't have the resources to buy solvents at the moment. So, I stuck with this. It's quite affordable, and there's a whole lot of it, and I think it'll last me a very long time, so I stuck with this instead. I'll be doing that later. I have to sort everything out. I have sponges and rags to wipe the whole case itself down, because the amount of dust is just caked onto here, and it's making me sick. <laughs> I want to see this fucking thing clean. Uh, with the paints aside, See, you, you can kind of see it in there. My paints are buried way in there. I used to have a little box for them. I think it's somewhere in a separate bag. And 
I would just shove these things in here, the ones that the batch that I would use. Uh, look what happened. I fucking hate this so much. I wish I didn't do this. I really wish I didn't do this to my supplies a few years back. So yeah, I'll be sorting them out for now. I'll put this here for a bit. I'm, I really prefer square brushes more. I don't know about you guys, but I prefer square brushes over pointed and round ones. I love the look of blocky uh, paintings, the style of that. It just looks really nice, geometric ones. I have a lot of palette knives. I never knew how to use these. I just thought they were cool. I think this one, this was the original one that came with the case. And then this one was bought or given to me. I never knew how to use these. I would literally just go on my palette and do like that and tap it on my canvas. That's the only thing I knew about. I wasn't taught this. I wasn't taught how to use this at the time because I'm still a beginner. Oh, I'll be talking about my experience in oil painting class while I sort everything out. So when I attended those classes, it was always during summer. Every summer for probably two years at that time. And I would attend those with two of my cousins. It was the three of us and we got to hang out and talk. They're a little older than me. Uh, but it was really nice that I got to just get along with them in the way that I could at the time. So it would just be us, we would attend. And the gallery that we um, had classes in was at a mall. Was, the mall was pretty far away, so it was a lengthy trip, but I personally feel that it, would, it was worth it. The three of us had another batch mate at the time. They were hearing impaired, they had an, a hearing aid, and I would usually watch them paint while we had our sessions. They would make beautiful landscapes. There was this one painting they did that I never really forgot. It was a beautiful field, and it really reminded me of Ghibli films and the uh, European countryside. It was awesome. I never got to speak to them, but I, I always would like look over my shoulder from my easel and just like, yeah, yeah, you go. That was freaking awesome. And using this medium is really fun. I wasn't exactly taught how to care for my brushes. I was taught how to use them, yeah, but not really care for them afterwards. Sure, you would, you know, clean it in solvent and stuff, but uh, that's that was pretty much it. Not much on storage, not much on how to clean it if it dries out. So now I'm left with this mess, and we're going to do something about that. I'll see if I can do something about that. <laughs> um, don't we do the beauty guru thing there? Fucking... Does that actually work? Does the beauty guru hand actually work? Okay, then cool. <laughs> I'll be doing that. This, what is this? Viridian? These paints, hold on. These Conda paints are actually kind of cheap. I just bought them from the local store. They're not Winsor Newton. I cannot reach that yet. And I haven't quite, oh, I use Pebeo. I started with Pebeo and I really like them. I think that's the closest I can get to like midway range in terms of quality. These are not the best, I will admit. And I think it would be much better if I just saved up for the Pebeo ones. And yeah. Oh, here's one. A remnant of what I used to use. <laughs> These things have gone through hell and back. Holy fuck. <laughs> All right. Oh, that smells really nice. I have paint piss all over my hand, forgive me. Oh god, this one. Was it this one? Where is that? There was one particular brush I keep thinking about. It makes me physically hurt because it was a really pretty watercolor brush. But because my dumbass did not know the differences between oil paint brushes and acrylics and watercolors, I. I just assumed, okay, it's a brush, I can use this to paint, but no. It was a very fluffy and fine-haired brush, it was pretty big, like that, so it was perfect for blocking in like landscapes or, or large areas. I used it for an oil painting, oh god, this, this hurts to 
remember <laughs> but after that i could never use it again i'll try to clean it actually if i can find it because it's not in my case at the moment but yeah there's that i mourn over that poor paintbrush every time i think about painting so for now we're just going to dunk all of these in here some of these can be weapons like holy shit this is so hard i could shank someone with this and get away with it as paint probably okay this one is somehow soft still and i'm oh fuck <coughs> It's really dusty. Oh no. Do you hear that? <laughs> it's so tough. Good god. Oh, this one. It was supposed to be a fine tip brush. Like that. Now it looks like a bad 80s wig. What? What is this? Now this one looks like a weapon. I don't know what I would use this for. Uh -huh. Keep it in here. Anyway. Oh, these ones. I don't... I I still don't know what these do. I think they're used to dot and mark things. I never found use for it. I just thought they were cool and I can't remember why I bought them in the first place.
everything turned out great and I'm very satisfied with how clean it is. It's not perfectly like stain free of the paints because of course these are probably gonna be there for like forever. But I'm very happy with how this was and it was a very fun experience honestly. Very relaxing and personal too. So that's all for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!